I'm really interested in the way moving our bodies in space actually lays down neural patterns and those patterns for basic things like moving in and out or balancing back and forth, those are actually used in abstract thought. And so when you're teaching young children about ideas like crime and punishment and balance, the same neural pathways get fired. So I had this idea that you could actually leverage that in learning applications. Children could move their bodies in and out of balance and they would actually learn abstract thinking in better ways. My area of research is called Embodied Interaction, and it concerns designing computer interfaces that deal with modalities like touch and gesture and movement that are not tapped into by traditional desktop computing. The area really matters to me because how we think and how we move are so integrated, and so it allows us to look at both those things together and really do a much better job of designing computers. I'm really active and I do a lot of work with children who are really active and early theories of cognitive development really discounted the role of movement and it just seemed really problematic to me. So I started to look for ways to think about how movement influences thought and how you would design computers differently if you thought about that. I really like working on my research with students and all the questions and thoughts that they bring, things I would never think about or ways of looking at things that I hadn't thought about. It's so collaborative and I just really enjoy their energy.